Yeah, what up, folks? Been a while, been real busy of late in the shop. But do me a favor, smash that like and subscribe button for more content. Don't forget to share it also. Now, let's see what's up with this 2016 Nissan X-Trail hybrid vehicle. Customer complaint is that he's hearing a loud buzzing noise while he's driving. Right now, um, the brake light is on on the cluster and the brake fell feeling really stiff, you know. So he asks if I could check it out for him. He don't think he can drive the vehicle to my shop, so I have to go to his home and see if he can get it rectified for him, right? So stay tuned for the video and, you know, let's diagnose this vehicle. Yeah, so let's verify the um, customer complaint. Let's see, you do have the brake light on. So I'm gonna just show the scan tool on it, right? As I said, that loud buzzing noise that you hear coming from the, in the background, that's basically from the car, and the brake light is definitely on, right? So I ran into this issue before um, a while back, right? So I'm gonna just put the scan tool on it because I need to see, you know, what information I can gather to make a proper diagnosis, right? Um, Basically, I'm just gonna do a full scan while I'm at it, right? Um, scan all the modules, right? As I said, the brakes like this on, the vehicle is off. So as you can see, I'm, I have a few faults on the brake system, a C1111 pump model and a C118E, right? So let's go into the module and take a look at some of the data. Uh, we may see something to guide us to help us fix this um, issue that the customer is experiencing yeah so this noise is really annoying but i gotta fix it in order for that noise to stop right so um this bear you don't have some patience but i gotta see what's going on with the module first right um if i'm getting power signal um communication in order to diagnose this in order for that noise to stop so just you know bear with me with this right um it looks like the ecu um slash module is making a 10 percent the command and power to the booster but like look like the booster is not um receiving it or and the booster is made up of various things it had the accumulator it have the booster um which is the, the motor um it has the reservoir it have the sensors it have the module itself which is basically where the command comes in you know and the electronic parts of it it have a lot of um you know mid major components within this booster is a complete um setup so I'm, I'm gonna show you what it is just now but as i said let's um see what's going on with the command coming from the ecu i'm getting all my voltage so i mean i don't think that's the problem right but i'm gonna just look to see if the relay is turning on right it does have a relay for most of these um components because the switch you know you gotta be able to turn on and off so let's start the vehicle up and see what's good yeah with the vehicle running we still have the noise buzzing in the back and you can see the issue is trying to you know send the command um off and on based on i'm planning to break right yeah so let's go on the hood right so the first thing i like to do is check for leaks make sure that the reservoir has the fluid in it um once that's all good then i go after the booster setup right is kind of in an awkward position it is basically behind the firewall so i had to remove a lot of things to get to it but as i said um this is a hybrid version of the actual t32 um some might know it as a nissan rogue right um this vehicle doesn't come with a vacuum booster like the old school one this electronic one so i have to remove the wipers and all these other stuff just to get access to this right it's fairly simple to, to remove right um but I gotta take off all those things just to get this out right it's a kind of large unit and you know the shape of it also is kind of weird because there's a hybrid version of this vehicle right the engine tend to cut in and out from time to time and uh, there's not a lot of vacuum being um produced right to assist with the braking and other solenoids right like pull solenoids and stuff like that so basically they create this module so you can constantly get vacuum all the time to, or pressure to apply brakes right so let's remove the module right and i'll show you how it's set up yeah so this is a complete setup 
right? Um, it consists of the reservoir, the motor, the master cylinder, the pressure sensors. Um, looks like you might have a switch somewhere in there. There's a module also. Um, and it's very straightforward, right? So I'm just going to check, you know, for continuity on the motor by just taking out this um, this little negative and positive. I can check for continuity on the motor, but most likely the motor is in good shape. It just, you know, probably the brushes um the, on the contacts in there is where is worn and causing you know the motor to malfunction right so i'm gonna get it replaced and you know pull it back up and let you see what's good approximately 10 hours later yeah i got the unit back right the motor was replaced so as i said earlier this is the uh, motor that's at the bottom that silver piece right i'm just making sure my connectors is you know properly in right there's the level switch for the brake fluid um i'm using dot three i gotta bleed the brakes right and yeah as i said it's straightforward right so we're gonna pop this back in right um start the vehicle for the client bleed the brakes and you know everything should be good right so let me put this in and put back up the camera yeah so we got the booster back installed right i put back up everything is supposed to right let me just show you right so the it's back in right i'm gonna go in the vehicle um you know do a scan again clear the codes um start the vehicle up and all should be well right i'll probably just look at a few pids real quick and make sure that the job is fixed right i believe it's fixed as you can see that it's saying past before we're saying current right um so Right now, I believe that this is a fix. Right, what I'm gonna do is clear the codes. Right, um, as I said, I already did the fix, so I already stored it also. So I'm gonna clear the codes, and I'm gonna just read it four codes again. I have no faults. Right, the lights will be on because the car ignition is on. I'm gonna go into let's see, um, data support. See if I have any relearns to do. No. Um, so I just want to monitor some PIDs and information um, of the scan tool just for future reference references. Um, yeah, let's start the vehicle up and, you know, this is supposed to be it, right? So anytime you have a hybrid vehicle and you have like brake problem, first thing, you know, if you feel like your brake is getting hard or you hear a buzzing song or, you know, your um, brake light come on, Something like that. I mean, different manufacturers will have different methods for the um, signal that you have brake issue, right? Just pay attention to it. Try not to drive the car, right? And you know, contact your mechanic. Hopefully, that he knows what he's doing, right? It could be a costly fix, yes, because these hybrid vehicles are um, it's not cheap, you know. So until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. You know, leave a comment down in the box. I hope you enjoyed this one. Later.